Keith, I'm so glad to be here in your home and take a look and be able to show people the type of work that you do. And Keith Swink is the owner of Eagle Harbor Designs here in Ashland. And I've worked with him a great deal in the past and referred him to a lot of clients of ours who've been so happy with him. So I wanted to just let him talk about a little bit about his work and also his um, background on the Historic Commission and the things that he's passionate about. So Keith, would you tell us about that, about the, you know, working on the Historic Commission? Well, the Historic Commission is, of course, important in, in our little town just because it helps to, you know, keep our historic traditions intact and keep the architectural uh, housing and downtown areas, you know, to tell the story that otherwise would be gone. We'd be any other community. We could be San Jose. and. I think that uh, it's one of the reasons that people are drawn to our town is because of the cultural and architectural uh, benefits that we all enjoy. That's great. Um, I know there's some misconceptions about the Historic Commission, and and I was how easy is it to contact a Historic Commission member and just say, you know, we're thinking about buying a home in Ashland. It is an historic district. Well, the best thing to do is probably just at the community development. Uh, centers to contact uh, planning commission initially and find out if you're in a historic zone. Sure. You know, and uh, find out what their requirements are. You know, for any development uh, that might bring you automatically to the historic commission. And then on Thursday afternoons at the review board, every, every Thursday afternoon at three o'clock. There's commissioners there to talk to the public and to review um, cases that are coming up that have been permitted. And we're always happy to uh, interface with the community and try to help people in their development plans for projects that they, you know. That's fantastic. You know, I think that's what's really important for people to know is that they can, it's very easy to talk to people at the city. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to talk to people on these commissions. And it's much simpler to talk in advance with, with these, you know, public entities because then you really get that input mm -hmm. so that you don't put something onto a property that doesn't fit, right. you know, and you get some good advice on no, it. No, and as a building professional, I've always found that uh, the city's just a great place to go to get help. I mean, the staff uh, at the planning department and uh, the building department are just top notch and they're there to help and they want to help. That's what I found, you know, absolutely found is that um, whenever we have someone who wants to do anything with a home or, or they're thinking about buying a home, we take them down to the counter at the city and we say, okay, what can you do? Can you add an additional dwelling unit there? You know, can you take you know, the back, off, you know, back end off of the house mm -hmm. and remodel? Yeah. And you just ask them questions and they can give you all that data in advance. And yes. they're so pleasant to work with. I've had just a great relationship yeah. with yeah. the city love, all these years. I really like the people down there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Talk to you about Keith is sustainable. What sustainable means? And also, the, the green word is used all the time now. You know, what does that mean to you when someone asks you, you know, maybe they want to have a home that's architecturally gorgeous, but they also want a home that's green. Mm -hmm. And so how do we, you know, how would we, you know, tell us about that. What does that mean? Well, uh, the, the obvious things that people talk about now are, are um, energy savings and, and, you know, whether it's insulation or more efficient appliances. Uh, those are easy first places to start when remodeling a home. Uh, where I've approached it in in our own home is just in recycling materials a lot okay. and uh, just trying to start with designs that are, are more energy efficient and in our case we chose a craftsman style because they were designed very well a hundred years ago and they still work. They're beautiful and they're they, yeah, awesome. I mean, the, the function of a double hung window and a high ceiling and cooling your house it's automatic you don't need any mechanical devices to, to help cool your house in that situation so Doing that is great. What we've done is we've used a lot of materials like these balusters on the stair were recycled from church pews that were from a church that was destroyed in an earthquake in 1993 in LA. It's absolutely beautiful. Did you do the design work here? Well, actually, my wife did, came up with the oh, design. Oh, your wife did the design. Oh, I, that's gorgeous. I, I, I executed it. We found, <laughs> we found the technology that uh, enabled us to do this pattern you know, cost effectively. And Didn't you use a water technique on yeah, this? Yeah, it was a water jet that we used to 
to cut all these and then we just had to sand and you know finish all of the, the woodworking but I mean just being able to use recycled lumber when possible uh, especially even finished lumber like this that's very valuable uh, we recycled and used uh, reclaimed lights the antique lights that we have in the house we've used a lot of antique uh, uh, hardware on the doors mm -hmm. and you can buy that material for as at the same price or less of high quality uh, put in your home. So you can help people find the material. So yeah, that's so actually the fun part of, of doing work like this is you know the, the getting out and shopping and finding the places and helping guide you know clients sure. to those things because it it is it involves everybody and it does. And, and that's the fun like part. To do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is really a fun exciting. part. So that's great. Yeah. Well, Keith, let's talk about mid-century homes, yeah, um, <laughs> because Ashland does have you know a lot of mid-century yeah. homes, and people need ideas, they need creative thinking. So, what do you do when you work with somebody who has purchased a home? Well, uh, it's actually the most exciting part is to find out what people want in a home, what their style, uh, their lifestyle is, how they live in a home, and just working with uh, what design improvements could make that home function for them. We've had a lot of success with, uh, with mid-century ranch style homes and converting them uh, and transforming them, I should say, to uh, really to be much more appealing and attractive homes that are inviting, you know, rather than just like, oh, this is a tract of the same kind of homes. We've been able to add you know, front porches, we've been able to change interior floor plans so that they work you know, better for 21st century, mm -hmm. certainly because things are different now than what they were in the 1960s or 1950 and how people want to live in their homes. Exactly. So, so opening up space is one of the things that we do a lot. Updating kitchens uh, so that they're more functional and have more uh, efficient storage and cabinetry is, is really a big part of you know bringing homes into the 21st century besides lighting and, and just basic mechanical. So I know you're really creative, so this has to come into play when you're working with people. Does that get you going? Oh yeah, it's a, yeah. I think that's one of the, mm -hmm. the fun fun things, is, um, just being able to, to work and being able to make you know uh, an older home into a more functional living space for the people that now own it. Exactly. Now Keith, um, one thing about this you know, that I want to really talk to you about is that um, you know, people are looking for contractors, and a lot of times we've sold a home, and they just want someone to come in and, and do a remodel. Mm -hmm. So besides building custom homes, you know, which you obviously do, uh, what about doing remodels? Is that something that you enjoy? Or you you know, you would be happy well, actually, to work with remodels okay. and additions is my specialty. So I mean, okay, that, cool. that's the thing that I'm most excited to work with people on uh, because it's it's. The challenge of taking an already existing space and making it again work for the new owners so that it matches their 21st century lifestyle. I mean, that's the challenge and the fun of of doing remodeling, definitely. So it could be. I mean, there'd be a job. You would do a job maybe that's three thousand, and you would do a job maybe that's you know a hundred thousand. Yeah, absolutely. right. I mean, there's not any. So someone wouldn't be intimidated calling you because you build million dollar homes. They could just call you and say, Keith, I know you do remodels. Would you take a look at it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean isn't I'd, that true? I'd, I'd be excited. To, to do that kind to do of thing. That, yeah. That's what I thought. And yeah. so I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, it's, it's always a lot of fun to work with people. I just uh, value that. The, the client uh, contractor relationship, client contractor, architect, designer relationship, I think is real important to start at the very beginning so that everybody works together to the same you know end product and it uh, can be really a, a fun experience and a, a good relationship in fact yeah. most of my clients are I socialize with and have a lot of fun exactly know, so. that's what I always say about my job as a realtor is that you know I become my, these, all my clients become such good friends yeah you know yeah. I mean we just yeah. you know it's just awesome yeah you know? it's nice. and the people that move here uh, want to have a home that fits in that you know that, that they want they want to do something really great for this town because it's so cute mm -hmm. this town you know we've really been smart I mean with the story commission and being careful you know the boundaries with the boundaries etc because it's not urban sprawl we have this little town that we all want to protect and it's just true. keep this wonderful place that we have you know we know what we have well I think too that the 
just talking about your your clientele and becoming friends. I mean, it's a small town, so you want your <laughs> the people that you run into at the hardware store. You don't want to be hiding from them. You want, <laughs> exactly. you want to be glad to see them and get out and and find out what they're doing with their lives. You know, what are you doing these days? I haven't seen you for months. You know, and it's really fun to catch up. So it is. That's why. So I mean, it is one of the definite pluses of living in Ashland. It is. Well, keep your cabinet builder. And we are in um, your dressing area of your own home. And would you just tell us a little bit about the finish work and what you've done here? Well, it's just any cabinet job that we do, we just try to, you know, again, match it to the, what our clientele's needs are. Uh, we try to do, uh, we like working with cherry, but we work with all hardwoods. We've done walnut jobs, you know, vertical grain fir. We've done paint grade jobs. This is cherry. Fun. This is cherry. Are these antique fixtures? Or uh, they, these are from Restoration Hardware. Restoration actually. Hardware. And we so. use Bloom Ocean uh, from Bloom, the hardware company, for the drawer slides. So they have like a self closing, you know, saw that. soft close detail. and. I just uh, love to feel the wood. You know, you, yeah, you, all your finishes finish, are yeah. just fantastic. Yeah, so we do like a, a hand applied tongue oil finish, polyurethane tongue oil finish on our cabinetry and uh, it just makes it so that people want to touch it. It it's always, absolutely. Kinda, it's always That's kinda, how I always feel it's, when it's, I'm it's in always, here. I've always been a lover of woodworking and it's 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 as I don't have the time to do sculpture, so this is as close as I get right now. It looks like a sculpture. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, going to be you know, it's going to last more than one lifetime. Yeah. That's what's so great that about it. Is, Hopefully, what will happen. Exactly. Well, Keith, thank you so much. It's thank just you. always a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, we're glad okay. to be here. Yeah.